shining armor in your movie. Shit's broken. That shit. What's up, my people all around the world? Hello from New York City. Welcome to This Is Daisy. Thank you for tuning in. This video is going to be a little bit different. I love makeup and a lot of my viewers love makeup as well and you gotta call it for what it is sometimes. There's always those products that you buy and you're just so disappointed in. There is a host of reasons why the product wouldn't be good. So let's focus on some of the products that I have purchased that I am so disappointed about. The first product is this Milani Lip Gloss. I love the pigmentation on this, I love the color, but this lip gloss, the minute I apply it, just starts running over my whole mouth. It was to the point where it was down to my chin and it's just like really messy, like it just doesn't stay put. And I'm the type of person that I really try to give the benefit of the doubt to things. I know in life the first time around might not work out, but if you give it a second chance or maybe even a third chance, it might suffice, right? No, this sucker just is really keen on being a diva and giving me a hard time. You just want to give me a hard time and therefore I'm not a fan of this product. This mascara is by Revlon and it's called the Girl Luscious Plumping Mascara. This is so disappointing. Talk about taking clumping to the next level. I just can't find my happy place with this mascara. I keep reapplying it and it keeps clumping and I reapply it again and it keeps clumping. But you need to apply it more than one time to get the definition. So therefore, just not my type. Another one on the list, unfortunately, is another mascara. I have a hard time finding mascaras that really benefit my eyelashes. I know you guys have come across those type of girls that just love the drama out of life and every now and then you just want to slap them silly, right? Well, this is one of those mascaras. <laughs> I'm so disappointed because this just came out, it's new, it's by Revlon, it's the ultimate all-in-one, so this claims to do everything. It lengthens, it thickens, it volumizes, and I don't see any of that happening. Unfortunately, we will indefinitely part ways. Now on to an eyebrow product. This is by NYX. And this is their Tinted Brow Mascara. Now I get it. You're not supposed to have a tinted eyebrow with a heap of product on it because you only have a little bit of hair. So you apply too much product, it's going to be an utter mess, right? So you want it to come out really lightly but I feel like I'm literally struggling to get product out of here. Fortunately this doesn't do anything for me because I can't seem to get the product out of there in the first place. Sorry Nix. Fortunately you didn't do anything for me. And I need someone that gives back. This one I want to try is by Maybelline is the Brow Drama Sculpting and this is transparent so really is to hold it in place and give it more of a shine. This is another product that didn't do anything for me. I don't know. What do you do? You're done. Bye -bye. I was so looking forward to the LA Girl Matte lipsticks. I picked up the color Dreamy and this is just a beautiful mauve pinky type of color. I do not like the formula on this. The minute you apply it, it looks beautiful, but five minutes down the line, it starts caking up on me. It starts breaking up and there's nothing sexy about that one. So I'm stuck with a crusty lip. I'm really disappointed. You had me a hello, but it's like a big notorious goodbye to you. So if anybody wants it, I was so hyped about getting this product. Mainly because I've heard so many things about this product. Am I like the only one on the face of this earth that this crap didn't agree with? I don't get it. This is by Kat Von D and it's their ink liner. This is true in Trooper. I struggle getting the product out of here. What is the deal with this? I see everybody else use it on YouTube and elsewhere and it glides on like perfection. But then there comes little Daisy trying to apply it on her eye and it's like I'm about to poke my eyeballs out just trying to get this color on me. 
It's ridiculous. It's a struggle and no matter what you say, eyeliner should never be a struggle. I don't know if mine is just defected, but I definitely can't get the product out of here. So I hate to say it, but trooper, you're not a trooper and therefore we can have You're done so. I would probably be on meds if my list was way longer because I don't want to be disappointed about things that I really like. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this fun channel if you haven't already. I will catch you next Wednesday. Off to my adventures. In shining armor in your movie. It's broken. Shit. <laughs>